Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick at the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. So I want to find the value of x here. Now, first off, 4, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. So if I replace 4 with 2 to the power of 2, I get 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is the same thing as 2x. Now this is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x is equal to 3x. Now, to solve this, I'm first going to take, or sorry, I'm first going to subtract both sides by 3x. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with 2x minus 3x is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out x from here, I get x times 2 minus 3 is equal to 0. 2 minus 3 is negative 1, so now I have negative x is equal to 0, and if I divide both sides by negative 1, I get x is equal to 0 divided by negative 1 is 0. So my answer is x equals 0. Now to check, my original equation was 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3x. Now, I know that x is equal to 0, so now I have 4 to the power of 0 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 0. Now, 3 times 0 is simply 0 because anything times 0 is 0, so now I have 4 to the power of 0 is equal to 2 to the power of 0. Now, any number to the power of 0 is simply equal to 1 besides 0 itself. So. 4 to the power of 0 is going to equal 1, and 2 to the power of 0 this is also equal to 1. So I have 1 is equal to 1, and because this is right, my solution is right as well. Alright, so I have 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. So right here, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, First start with 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x minus 2 is equal to log 2 to the power of x plus 1. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I can move both x minus 2 to the front as well as x plus 1 to the front. So now I have x minus 2 times log 3 is equal to x plus 1 times log 2. Now, for both of these, if I distribute log 3 and log 2, well, first off, let's start with x minus 2 times log 3. x times log 3 is simply x log 3, and negative 2 times log 3 is negative 2 log 3. This is equal to x times log 2 is x log 2, and 1 times log 2 is simply just log 2. 
So now I have x log 3 minus 2 log 3 is equal to x log 2 plus log 2. Now I'm going to subtract x log 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x log 3 minus x log 2 minus 2 log 3 is equal to log 2. Now, I'm going to add 2 log 3 on both sides. And these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x log 3 minus x log 2 is equal to log 2 plus 2 log 3. Now, if I factor out x from here, I have x times log 3 minus log 2 is equal to log 2 plus 2 log 3. And 2 log 3, remember how I can just bring this to the front. So now I have x times log 3 minus log 2 is equal to log 2 plus log 3 squared. Now if I divide both sides by log 3 minus log 2, these two cancel out, and I'm left, with, left with log 2 plus log 9, 3 squared is 9, over log 3 minus log 2. Now log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301, plus log 9, this is equal to 0 0.954. Now I have this over log 3, this is equal to 0 0.477, minus log 2, again, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now this is equal to 1.255 over 0 0.176, which is equal to 7.13. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now to start, 30, we can rewrite as 3 times 10. So now I have 3 to the power of x is equal to 3 times 10. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 3. So these two cancel out. And now I am left with 3 to the power of x over 3 to the power of 1, because anything to the power of 1 is the same thing as itself, is equal to all that's left is 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is going to equal a to the power of m minus m. So in this case, we have 3 to the power of x over 3 to the power of 1. And this is going to equal 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. So now, to solve this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 3 to the power of x minus 1, I can move x minus 1 to the front. So this is going to equal x minus 1 times log 3 is equal to log 10. Now, if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x minus 1 is equal to log 10 over log 3. Now log 10, this is actually equal to 1. So now I have x minus 1 
is equal to 1 over log 3. And log 3, this is equal to 2.0959. So now I have x minus 1 is equal to 1 over, or sorry, 1 over log 3. 1 over log 3, this is equal to 2.0959. So x minus 1 is equal to 2.0959. Now, if I add 1 on both sides, these should cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to 3.0959. So this is my answer. Now to check, my original equation was 3 to the power of x is equal to 30. So now, we know that x is equal to 3.0959. So now if I plug this in, I have 3 to the power of 3.0959 is equal to 30. Now 3 to the power of 3.0959, this is equal to 29.99989. And this is equal to approximately 30. So meaning 30 is equal to 30. So our solution is right. All right, so in this video, I'm solving the equation x to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 3. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite. Actually, I'm going to first take the power of 6 on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of 6 to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 6. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 and 6 multiply, so I get x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 18. I also switch the places of x to the power of 6 and 6. So now from here, I'm going to rewrite 3 to the power of 18 as 3 to the power of 9 times 2. And now we can use the reverse of this property and change this form into this form. So now I get x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 3 squared to the power of 9. And 3 squared is 9, so I get x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 9 to the power of 9. And because this is in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a equals b. So in this case, x to the power of 6 is equal to 9. And if I take the sixth root on both sides, I get x is equal to the sixth root of 9. 